Hello YouTubers, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at these tires that you see on eBay and online a lot. These are Lionheart and Lion Claw tires. I've never actually bought this brand, but they seem like they have some pretty good uh, ratings and everything. And I bought four of these going to go on my Nissan Xterra. And a lot of times, you know, it's really hard to get a good idea what the tires are like just by picture. So I thought I'd make a video today and give you an idea what they look like and how deep the tread actually is. Now, they do sell a lot of these. You can see here they've sold 446 of these. And for these, you know, you can get about $417. And these were free shipping. So let's go outside and take a quick look at these for you guys. And there they are. Now, when they ship them to you, they actually put them in pairs like this. You got these plastic uh, ties here all the way around. And uh, the other two are actually right here in my vehicle. These are actually going to go on my Nissan Xterra. I was going to go with 3110s. Since this vehicle costs for 265 70 15s, I found out the uh, 3110s and these aren't really that much of a difference in height or width, so I decided to stay with the original tires on this vehicle. And if anybody wants to, uh, you know, after I sell it, if they want to put 3110s or 32s on, they can go ahead and do it uh, themselves. But everything on the vehicle is going to be original at this point. So here's a look at them. And, uh, I apologize guys, it is extremely windy out here today, so hopefully I can keep the uh, leaves and the wind noise down. And uh, you see right here, the date on this is the 23rd week of 2020. So these are really new, and you can go online and read about the uh, other things about these tires. You know, the road noise and all that. I'm not going to go into all that, but I just want to give you an idea what they actually look like. Let's flip these up. These are the uh, ATX2 tires, and these are fairly heavy, and uh, there's the sticker on them, and let's see what else we got here. Tread wire, temperature, and all that, and uh, some more of the stickers, but uh, you can see the tread here. Wow. It's a really deep tread. So these should do fairly well, I think, on my Nissan. The ones on there now... Uh, well, they're not the world's best shape, so I figured, you know, if I've got new tires on here, this will be an excellent vehicle for the winter months. And the wear pattern here, uh, looks like it's, uh, fairly interesting. You got, uh, ice and snow, uh, tread here, and also looks like it would handle water fairly well at this point. Now, these are all-terrain. And I don't think I would have any problem running these in the winter or summer because the more tread you have on any tire, I don't care who you talk to, it's still a safer ride than just having some tires like this where the tread is almost down to nothing and these are questionable if they would even pass inspection during inspection time on this vehicle. So this is why we got these tires. And I don't know if there's anything else here that I can show you. Uh, like I said, the tread is really deep. Um, this is what kind of caught my attention and uh, on the side here yeah you, know, you have all this other stuff here writing Sun rain ice it says right here all weather and uh, all that so I'm going to actually actually down here you got an M&S mud and snow so I think these will be pretty decent I see a lot of people online buying these but I haven't really seen many videos of actually what these look like and all that. Now you got a yellow dot there, and I think there's a red dot. Go online and search what that means about balancing your tires. Actually, I'm going to put these on, balance them myself, and put everything together uh, to save a lot of money and time. All right, so just for fun, let's go ahead and open these up here and look at the inside. And I believe these are lettered tires. Or you can at least stencil them in. And they're going this side and get these. No going back now. There we go. Yeah, lay this one down. Okay, well, they're lettered, but you can take a paint pen and come in here and do all this. I've seen people do that, but I'm going to leave them black lettered. I think they would look a better, a better I should say. And, um, you know, here's a look at the inside. Pretty much what the outside looks like. Now, you have a red dot. 
and you have a yellow dot there's plenty of videos on YouTube on that and what that means when you put these on new rims and all that and uh, there is one lots of nice deep tread I think I'm gonna be really happy with these and here's the other one and let's see like I said these are gonna go on 15 inch rims and the bead looks really smooth so we shouldn't have too much trouble of actually uh, mounting these on after I get them mounted on the Nissan after I get them balanced and everything I'm gonna drive them 100 or 200 miles around and come back and let you know how they are how they feel if there's any road noise or anything like that and how the ride is you know if it's rough if it's soft now with these that I have on here now these aren't exactly the smoothest riding tires these are N E X E N and Nixon tires road HTX tires uh, they're all four mates. The problem is um, one of them's got a slight bump on it. When you're going about 30, you can feel the vehicle doing dum, 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 doing this. So very annoying. So, uh, so that's it. So I guess I'll go ahead and mount these on rims. We'll balance them, and I'll come back here a little bit later and let you guys know just how they are. So just so you don't have to go back and pause the video and come back and look again, I'll give you a nice look here. Uh, I don't let me get a tape measure here. I don't know. I know this is not the right way to measure tires, but I wanted to see how I can get that in there. Yeah, it looks like almost a half inch from what I can tell here. Deep. Let's see. Yeah, almost. Not quite. So uh, I think these are going to be really good tires. So that's about all I can show you guys right now. So I guess I'll be back here a little bit later. And give you guys an update and one more look at the sidewall side up all the way around and the inside I love the smell of new tires smell they smell like new rubber <laughs> all right so that's about it guys so I'll see you guys back here a little bit later and give you an update on how I think these are Uh, we're done uh, it's been about two days later about a couple hundred miles and uh, I'm very happy with the tires it's quiet no shakes whatsoever I don't even have any weights on any of the tires so it's really nice to have this bubble balancer and uh, we're just kind of driving around the country today first cold day we had our first snow last night but uh, I can't believe what a difference. Those tires that were on here had a couple bad places in them, so it made the vehicle shake a lot and so forth. But boy, I couldn't be happier. She's uh, running good, she's smooth and all that. So uh, try to balance your tires if you can, do it yourself. It doesn't hurt to try, right? All right guys, so I'm really happy with, with it there. Uh, I guess this is about the end of the video, so you can see the tires. And they look really good, so uh, I'm really happy there. And the back, no problems. No weights on the tires. I balanced them myself. I'll put a link to that bubble balancer that I used to do my tires with and all that. So uh, I am missing uh, on the back here these center pieces here. I've looked on eBay and I cannot find any of these. Let's see. That, okay, it's not the, it's the front one I'm missing right here I like to get one to put on that side over here like this so I'll look around but other than that that's the only thing that's missing on the vehicle so if you like this video guys give it a thumbs up and let me know where you're watching from right now and until my next video guys I will see you later